Hello everyone, Barak here, and today I'm starting a new Let's Play called From Lily Looking Through. This game is a charming game, if a little bit simple, but it's very enjoyable to actually go through. It's a point and click adventure, literally, point and click, that's pretty much all you do. But it's actually quite beautiful looking, which kind of, it doesn't... I was gonna say that makes it all it makes it all right, but it's it's a fun game. So let's get started. I've already played through a few levels of this, so I I know generally speaking how this works, but well, I'm not gonna remember every single puzzle solution probably. So you'll have to forgive me if I forget a few solutions now and again and have to work them through in my head. So yep. Our goal is to... Uh, yeah, you can also use the help button if you really have to, but I don't really think I'll have to for quite some time. Because the whole way this the whole way this game works is you click on things and then Lily attempts to do them, and you're going to have to solve a lot of puzzles to get to where you want to go. Oh, that had to hurt. But yes, our goal is to follow the red enchanted scarf or whatever fabric that is. And you'll be amazed what these goggles do later in the game. We're not gonna get that for a little while, I think, but they're rather important, shall we say. That's quite obvious. Considering the name of the game is Lily looking, excuse me, Lily looking through, you can guess what we're going to be looking through. And this is pretty much just a tutorial telling you how to do whatever you want to do. Now, our goal is to get all the way up here. So how do we get up there? Well, a good first start would probably be to get over here. So how do we do that? Eh, let's just try and walk up the easy way, right? I'm sure this will work. Not too muddy. Or too slippery, I'm not sure. Okay, let's use this thing that we nearly just broke when we fell. Try and wheel it on over. It's broken. You can see there's no, literally no wheels whatsoever right there. Well, part of the wheel's missing, shall we say. Why is that on fire? I never really thought about it before. That's kind of weird. Was that? Ah, uh, about cat. I don't remember what those things are called. Crap. I feel ignorant now. Anyway, we want that. I forgot we actually controlled this kid. It's been a... Oh, come on, get the... All right. I forgot we need to use this. It's too heavy. Well, what do you do when you need to... You need to... We need to empty this and obviously just pull the cork out. I'm ashamed at how long this first level took me my first time through the game. I really am, because this is a very easy puzzle. And it just made me feel stupid when I figured out what I'd done wrong. And now we can finally get the goggles. Or glasses, or whatever these are classified as. I think those are goggles. That was very dangerous, but, uh... Now we're introduced to our item tutorial. Items play an important role in this game. Without items, there are puzzles that you will not be able to complete. So, what are we gonna do with this? Well... What does it, what needs a circular thing? This. And now it has a wheel. Now we can use it. And this will hopefully get us up there. It should. I, if it doesn't, I'm confused now. I don't, oh wait, no, I was going to say, I don't really remember what to do now, but yep, I think I do. Okay, so we need to get up here to eventually get up there. So, we need to get rid of this rope. This is a little bit out there, but what you have to do, I think, is... Pick this... What I can't believe I forget what these things are called. Yeah. <laughs> Burn it. Burn it down. And we'll just cause a forest fire while we're at it. I mean, that was pretty self-explanatory. This puzzle's not what you call difficult, but when it gets later in the game, 
they can be quite thought-provoking and really logical-based. You have to use your every bit of reasoning and deduction skills at your disposal to get through. You know, this looks like a terrible idea, just trying to climb on a little rickety old branch to get this, but alright, let's try it. Careful. Okay, so that just happened. <laughs> so! Lily's friend just... yeah. So we need to go get him back. That's kind of the whole point of the game, go get him back, at least from what I've saw so far. And if you remember earlier, whenever that thing actually came up so we could get down, I believe we have to do this again. Get rid of both of these. Aha! Get on top of it. And we're set to go. We Not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess I forgot completely what I was supposed to do. Let's see, we need to... Uh, right, I forgot we were like an acrobat. She can do a lot of things, Lily. Thankfully, the game doesn't just leave you behind structures. It's not that mean. But some of these puzzles, from what I saw, all the puzzles in this game make sense. They're just kind of mind benders, if that makes any kind of sense. They require you to think outside the box, but they're not totally off the wall stupid. Like the best kind of puzzle game, really. Like I said, you don't want to know how long it took me my first time through the game. It was obscene just how long. It probably in the realm of probably 20 minutes. Because I am terrible at puzzles. That's why I played through it before the first time. So I didn't have to try and just go... So I didn't have to go and... Stop. Stop mid-video. Uh, and just have to... Yeah, it just would have been a pain in the butt to do that. And so I just decided against it. It's divided up into screens. I think there's, what, nine, ten screens? I don't know. I've only gotten to, like, screen six or seven. Alright, so how do we go about doing this? I kind of forget. We want that. Uh, let's see. Well, darn. How do we get around that? First, we need to get rid of this. So how do we get rid of that? You know, I feel like a moron doing this, but I'm going to have to do this. Oh, I, I had the right idea. I was like looking for this. I forgot it was the snapped one. That's the one we want. Right. Burn this, and there we go. See, I, I remembered it was something about that. I just forgot what it was, which one it was. So I don't, I don't feel as bad about that failure now. Now, don't get the wrong idea. Whenever Lily is doing something, you see the little film... Well, I'll show you here in a minute. You see the little film icon my mouse is right now? That means you can't do anything, but that's not to say that whenever you're in the middle of an action, it will always be that way. Oh yes, this puzzle. This puzzle... Confused the... Confused the crap out of me my first time. It's it's a it's a relatively simple puzzle. It's just you gotta actually observe what you're doing and figure out what the cause and effects of everything are. You make bubbles, but first I think we gotta get rid of that uh, that frog or do we? I don't know. Let's see here. Can't we actually get on this with the frog still here? There we go. Oh, but it's too big. Lily can't get on top of it. Okay, so we're gonna have to get... We're gonna have to... Actually, now that I think about it... I think we have to look... Uh, this, see, this is where trial and error normally would come into play. Because you'd have to play around with it and figure out what all the controls do and what the bubbles do. I think what we actually have to do, though, step on this, because that's actually a button. 
That was the wrong thing to do. See, that was... See, I'm still learning myself. Which is sad, considering I just did this, like, the other night. Right, and now, instead of doing that again, because if we do that again, the bubble will burst. What we have to do is now use this when this is facing the other direction. Or pump some water out of there. Do this again, put this back over here. This is extremely detailed commentary, I must say. Put this here, do that there. That's, that's, you know. But, well, our, our goal here is to make a... a staircase, so we can get up there. Move that over to the side over there. Righto. This one should be Goldilocks right here. Just right. I think you see where we're going with this. We're pretty much almost done as is. Come on, go over there. Thought I clicked already. This is probably not going to be a very long game series, but I don't feel like it has to be. The one thing I didn't understand about this puzzle, though, was this right here. Because I realized that when you do this, it makes the bubble smaller. But, I thought it would make all the bubbles smaller, but apparently it's only the first bubble. I just did the wrong thing, didn't I? I think I did. Yeah, I, j I just jumped on that. Yeah, see, that's what you- that's what happens when you- when you're commentating, and you're not really paying attention now, isn't it? Now let's see if this works any better. And not just flop back onto the floor. I think it'll work. Uh, if only bubbles actually worked that way in real life, that would be awesome. Seriously, I would want one of those giant bubble makers, and I would like to be like the best thing ever to have. But here we get to view the the amazing power of goggles. Holy smokes. Yep. Every time you look through the goggles, it goes to, we'll just say right now, it, an alternate reality. Even though I don't think that really is, and we can change it on at will. Obviously, since when we have them off, that is closed off, we're supposed to put them on and then go in here. How this works, I don't have the faintest clue, is not logical at all, but let's just accept it for what it is and enjoy it. And we broke our legs when we landed. Except we don't, because this is a rated E game, I think. If it's not, I'm surprised. Whoa. We'll go through one more area here, and then we'll call it a day. The next area is, I think, a little more complex. Well, not complex, I was just really bad at it the first time. It took me 20-30 minutes. Okay, so, let's see what it's like without the, without the goggles. Aha! We can pull a Tarzan here, and I didn't even see him until two seconds, until he's about off the screen. We can pull a Tarzan here. Oh, this is a complex place. Never mind. This will work. I remember it though. Jeez, that would have been a game over. All right. Pretty obvious. Whenever stuff like that happens, you just got to go back. So, what's the grand scheme here? Just keep following the boy that's getting, being kidnapped by an inanimate object. When you say it out loud, it sounds rather silly, doesn't it? But that's the story, folks. So now we gotta get from here all the way up there. So how do we go about doing this? We get to play with some levers and some puzzle elements while we're at it. So, let's get going. I don't exactly remember exactly what to do, but I'm sure I'll figure it out soon enough because I remember vaguely what to do. Oh, right. Whoops, wrong thing. That's keeping it in place, right there. So we need to use this, move that out, so it's unlocked. This is what screwed me over the first time. I didn't understand this, because I wasn't... I wasn't, uh... What's the word? Savvy to, you know, mechanical workings like that. That's exactly where you want it. 
And you'll notice that... Actually, we want to do something with this, don't we? Crap. What was that again? Oh, I remember now. I forgot about this item right here. We want to put this in... Hmm. I thought you wanted to put that in the hole. <laughs> I'm not going to make the comment. Oh, I know I just did. Okay, so... Right, I think we need to keep turning this wheel so that comes back down. If my memory, if common sense is right here. Because how else would Lily be able to put that in up there? It wouldn't make sense, man. Come on. There we go. Because I believe, yeah, that's moving the whole thing up and it's just a, and then this is going to knock this down. Which is exactly what we want because Lily is a professional cl uh, free climber. But we don't want to climb just yet. We want to lock this in place. If you don't lock this in place, I guess I can just show you. It's not exactly a huge deal. It's just a little bit of a time waster. But we have enough time. Because it's kind of fun seeing all of the whoops things you can do, I guess. Some might see this as a waste of time. I see it as exploring the game a little bit more. Obviously, we're not going to be able to just jump onto that and just go. That'd be way too easy. Going across the bridge, I have no idea if that owl's going to... Yep, he leaves. Would you like me to repeat that? No, nobody ever wants you to repeat that, Kapoor Gabor. Nobody ever wants you to repeat that crap. Even though we all accidentally do that once or twice, we don't actually want you to do it. If you don't lock it, we... yeah. Very, very dangerous things happen. So now that we learned our lesson and we're not going to do the same thing again... The sad part is I did it again and again because I didn't, like I said, I wasn't aware of how this worked. So that was kind of stupid on my part, but I learned from it eventually. And that's the important thing. So we'll lock this in place and we will get ready to go. I mean, some people could say it's a little boring watching just Lily do all this stuff. There's no real gameplay beyond just this, but it's still a fun game. I got it for like, what, a dollar from the Humble Bundle? And that's good enough for me. I mean, this has gave me probably two or three hours of good quality entertainment right here. And what more can you ask for one dollar? <laughs> I mean, come on. Price to entertainment ratio. I'm still not done with it. This is going on my, what, third hour now? So, I mean... Yeah, I just don't see how you can really complain about that. Now, if you bought it from Steam, I don't know how much it is on Steam if you bought it alone, but... I wouldn't recommend doing that. Actually, now that I think about that, the Humble Bundle's probably gone for this week by the time I upload this. Oh well, if you didn't buy it, I'm sorry about your luck. And now we can actually do what we are supposed to do. I swear Lily's like one of the most athletic young girls I've ever saw. Like, I would never be able to do that and I'm a 26-year-old man. That's embarrassing is what that is. Aha! That was the solution. See, it looks a lot more daunting than it actually is. My first time through this was like, oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to figure this out. Because I suck at figuring things out. But this game so, is simple enough, yet complex enough, to give every puzzle member, or puzzle fan, exactly what they want. Except maybe the hardcore puzzle fans. Now this place is a bit more convoluted, but not too much. It does get harder and more difficult as the game goes on, but we will t save this in the more challenging areas for next time. But before we go, we might as well see what's going on, bef you know, with the whole thing before we go. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed Lily Looks Through. This indie game is a joy to play. I probably should have said this in the beginning of the video, but since these puzzles were easy to begin with, I guess I'll just say, if you want to preserve the the not knowing what to do, I would not recommend watching this. I might put that in the beginning of the video also in, in like a text format. But, thank you guys very much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, and as usual, if you'd like to support the channel, you may wish to like or even subscribe for easier access to future content. And thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I shall see you guys next time. Farewell everyone.